Is it time to do away with university police departments in Utah? That's what Robert Gerke with the Salt Lake Tribune is proposing this morning. He joins us live now to explain. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, guys. Okay, why should we disband these college police departments, in your opinion? Well, I mean, each of these colleges, the University of Utah, BYU, Utah State, have these police departments that in just the last few weeks we've seen have uh, some serious problems, obviously. Uh, my friend Jessica Miller, my colleague Jessica Miller and Aaron Alberti um, did some reporting last week about BYU, uh, the BYU Police Department sharing information about uh, victims of sexual assault with the Honor Code Office. The Honor Code Office put in requests and this was something that had been going on for years, something they denied and then something that after a five year back court battle to get records proved to be true that they were they were indeed sharing uh, confidential information from this database. Uh, and then we had the issue with the Utah State Police Department where the police chief resigned after a video surfaced of a of a meeting he had with the football team where he said, you know, that the LDS girls will have sex with you and then regret it and claim it was assault and they don't want to do that. It, it just conveyed this really negative tone, this sort of bad mentality when it comes to policing these issues. And then, of course, the University of Utah a couple of years ago had the, Laura, the murder of Laura McCluskey that was bungled by the police department. Not just bungled, I mean, there were, there were real misconduct by uh, officers on that case. And so all of these kind of point to a lack of accountability, I think, a lack of transparency, and, 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 a, and a, just not a commitment to doing good police work. And so I think it's time to just dissolve these police departments. You know, the, the Salt Lake City Police Department can police the U. Provo Police Department can police BYU. The Logan Police Department can police Utah State better than these campus police departments have proven are able to do. So, Robert, so, these police departments were formed for a reason. So uh, what would we be missing out on by letting them go? I'm not exactly sure you're missing out on much of anything. I mean, if the police departments need security for buildings, they can have security, right, higher security personnel that aren't police. You know, if they if they need somebody to write parking tickets, they can have, the, you know, they can hire parking ticket writers uh, that aren't police and, and leave the police work to the, the police that are uh, more accountable. I mean, I think the biggest thing in my mind is that you know, these police departments, municipal police departments are accountable to an elected city council and an elected mayor who are going to have more oversight, more control over the day to day functions than, say, a board of trustees or an appointed president or the bureaucracy of a large college campus and university. Uh, and so I just think that, you know, you're, you're trying to bring accountability, transparency and, and responsiveness to these departments, which I think is just we, we've seen from these repeated incidents that's just missing right now. And you don't and you think, don't think any sort of uh, reform or changing these account accountability measures would work in this situation? You know, I think uh, if, if we look at the case of Utah State University, they had the Tory Green case where he was accused of nine sexual assaults, convicted of six years later because the police departments didn't communicate with each other. The North Logan, Logan and, and Utah State Police Department didn't communicate with each other. And I think you get rid of some of those themes. But also the fact that we now see uh, after a Justice Department investigation, we still had this police chief who had this mentality, this mindset that these victims of sexual assault aren't to be trusted, that they're to that they're that they are this is just a matter of them regretting consensual sex. And actually, we've seen some research just recently by a, a BYU professor that said, you know, when, when, when that's the mindset of the police, it's almost four times as likely that these, that these cases are deemed to be unfounded or, or made up, basically. And I don't think that's, that's a disservice to the students that they're supposed to be protecting. I think it puts more of them in danger, as the Justice Department said after their investigation into Utah State. And I just don't think you lose anything. I think you gain accountability. You, you lose some of the, I mean, you, you eliminate some of the communication barriers that might exist. It's just a better way to do it. It's better for the students, and I think it's better for the community. Well, Robert, you're always giving us something to think about, and I know other colleges and other states are, are, are looking at this same issue. So for our folks here that want to read more about Robert Gerke's column, it's on sltrib.com. Robert, thank you very much. Have a good week. Happy holidays. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you too. Merry Christmas. Bye.